Hey guys, what is up? The world is moving so incredibly fast. We got Nano Banana Pro last week, and this week we got Flux 2 Pro, which is honestly a model that's completely underlooked and challenges Nano Banana to an extreme extent. In this video, I'm gonna show you a ton of different examples with both character references and complete new renders, show you everything that's possible, and really instill the fact that you can recreate just about any scenario possible using AI, meaning a lot of the stuff that you see on the internet, Instagram, all that, even your friends, it may not even be reality anymore. For this demo, we're using free pick spaces. It's really cool. It allows you to do these little wireframes with references. As you can see here, we have Google Nano Banana Pro, as well as Flux 2 Pro. Both models are available in a ton of different platforms. And if you wanna become an expert of all this stuff, I highly recommend you join my school community. We're currently working on multiple courses, including one on free pick spaces, as well as cold email outbound, as well as pricing and portfolios for for selling AI creatives as a service. So let's hop in right into the examples. On the left, we have Nano Banana Pro, and on the right, we have Flux 2 Pro. I use Gemini 3 for a lot of these prompts. Every prompt here will be available in my school community, or I'll briefly show it on the screen right now. So the first prompt is just basically a Tahoe cabin. And to get the full resolution, I'm just gonna double click on it and you can see this is the Nano Banana Pro. It looks extremely realistic and very much like it's in Tahoe. Now let's open up Flux 2 Pro. And the only difference is I kinda like the aesthetic a little bit more. I think it feels a little bit more like a Midjourney-esque, for example, but ultimately they're very close. Now the second layer is a test on taking the reference from the first image and saying remove all furniture. So here I'm gonna pop this open. As you can see, pretty much all the furniture is gone and everything else looks identical to how it should if the furniture is gone. And then over here, we did the same thing with Flux 2 Pro. As you can see, very nice resolution. We're loading both. Um, all the tests are gonna be on 2K. And if we just briefly look at this versus this, everything looks identical except for the furniture. The only small detail is this right here. Doesn't look 100% the same, but most of it is covered by the couch anyways, so I'm willing to overlook that. And then scrolling on to the bottom, this is the most creative. Essentially, the prompt says to put a tree house in the back left corner and replace the deck with an infinity pool. So I think Google's Nano Banana Pro did a pretty good job at this. This is like exactly a tree house. I know it's a scenario that's not very common, but there is a tree, there is a little place to kind of play. And then the infinity pool looks like it was designed very well and realistic into this cabin. Now let's go to the Flux 2. As you can see, we have the infinity pool. I mean, it decided to put it on the same level as the lake. Looks kind of cool, not maybe as realistic, and it's not really, as much of an infinity pool as the other one. And then here is the tree house. The tree house looks pretty good. There's not an actual tree incorporated in it. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt that most inside houses wouldn't actually have a tree in them. Um, and then the rest of the furniture and the TV looks very good and consistent with the last photo. I think Nano Banana Pro does a little bit better job following these instructions on the edits, but then the overall aesthetic of the photo, I think I like more on Flux 2. And that brings us to our second test. It's a knolling experiment and you can read the prompt right here, but essentially the model was to create four objects. And when we open this up here, we have Nano Banana. We have a compass that's cracked. So it did a really good job on that. We have this thermal blanket. I'd say it looks pretty good and realistic to a crinkled thermal blanket. You have a knife with a carbon fiber handle. This looks extremely realistic. And then a book with the label plans. So this did a wonderful job. Nano Banana absolutely killed this prompt and it would be very hard on any previous model to do something like that. Now let's open Flux 2 and just for a little bit of context, I did have to do this a couple times. It did have some pretty bad examples with the wrong objects and all that, but this render came out pretty good. You can see the knife looks just as good. So does the compass. The cracking looks a little bit minimal and the thermal blanket looks a little bit thicker than a thermal blanket I think should be, or at least the ones I'm used to. And then the notebook is pretty good. So I'd say it did a really good job, but then again, Nano Banana just slightly beats it. 
Now let's go into some examples with an actual person. So here's a photo of me that's a reference for a majority of these photos. And this is an extremely common thing I do for thumbnails, all that, and something that's gonna be very popular in general for people on the internet making photos of themselves or people they know, products, all that good stuff. So up here we just have a prompt like I'm um, giving a presentation at Apple, kind of looking like Steve Jobs. Open this for the full resolution. I mean, it looks really good and it looks super realistic to me with shorter hair like the photo I supplied. And then if we go to the Flux 2, I mean, this one looks a little bit more like the edited photo that I gave as a source. You can see the hair looks nearly identical. So it just kind of like shifted it over there. I think this one looks maybe a little bit aesthetically better. Or maybe it just makes me look a little bit more fit, but they're both really good and I can't really pick between the two. Now this example is supposed to make me look like a business person in a high-end photo shoot. I mean, I think this is pretty good and pre realistic and pretty realistic to what I look like. Um, and then we go to this photo here. I just think like the expression and everything in this photo is just a little bit better. I mean, it didn't get my hand that cracked, but it's okay because my hand wasn't even in the reference image. Then over here, I had it make me a photo that I could be using as my LinkedIn profile picture. It's supposed to look extremely realistic. Here we have the Nano Banana one. I mean, I think it did a really great job. And then here we have the one from Flux 2. I also like this one. I think it keeps my hair a little bit more like the reference photo, which I don't really know if that's a good or bad thing. But both of these, I'd say, are pretty much a tie, maybe leaning a little bit to Flux 2 when it comes to these. Now, moving on to these photos, this is where I see pretty big of a difference. This was a prompt that's supposed to make me look like a super billionaire. <laughs> A super billionaire on a private jet. Now I'm just going to open this for the full resolution. The Nano Banana one is pretty good. I mean the background is a little like washed out but I'll give it a little bit of a bonus that I think stuff like the watches look a bit more like the actual luxury watch is supposed to represent and maybe the brands look a little bit more like they're supposed to but when I open up this Flux context photo I mean just the pose in this one and the background lighting and everything it just it makes me look so much cooler. I know this watch doesn't look like a luxury watch, but overall this photo is like, I just like it so much more than the previous photo. And then here's another good example. And this is like the first one I use, but this is an example of a long prompt that Gemini created. This would make me look like new money kind of rich. And you can see you have the Louis Vuitton uh, bag right there and stuff like this. I mean, I think it looks pretty good but there's just kind of something missing. And when I go to the Flux 2 image, I mean, the watch is a little bit weird, but just like the way that the jeans look and the way the bag, I mean, it gave me, I guess, less cool shoes, but with these chains and just the look like, it, this just looks so much more incredibly aesthetic to me um, than this version on the Nano Banana. So what I'm noticing so far is Flux 2, if you want to get like really good, like kind of like lifestyle photos or just like re-theme photos of a person, Flux 2 just seems to be absolutely killing it when it comes to these examples. Here's one more. It's supposed to be like a luxury car theme instead of the jet. You can see the watch again looks a little bit better on Nano Banana Pro. But when we go to Flux 2, I mean, I don't know, just like the sunset, how the cars are positioned, just everything looks more realistic other than the watch doesn't look like necessarily a luxury watch if you're into watches. But overall, I mean, I have to give Flux 2 like a huge win when it comes to this category. Okay, and now let's do these two. So this was a prompt, another kind of tricky one that Gemini created. Okay, and the three main things is supposed to be transparent glass in which you can see a blue glow. And then the second one is supposed to be, you can see the Martian landscape reflected. And then, and the third one is their scratches on the helmet. So if we open this one up pretty good, you can see myself, you can see the Mars kind of reflecting. You can see the little blue glow of what could be a HUD. And overall, I mean, it's pretty impressive. But when we go to Flux 2, I mean, I just think this one is so much cooler. I think the reflection of the Mars background is a little bit more realistic. I kind of like how the HUD is controlled by these two lights. It just looks more realistic. And then in terms of like wear on the helmet, like it looks a lot more dirty and worn, like realistic with the scratches, like this scratch right here and over here. I just think it did a little bit better job. And you know, the glasses and my look, I've looked, you know, very similar in both, but I think I like this one a little bit more.
And here's another test. I basically said a version of myself, six years old, in front selfie in front of Outback Steakhouse. I mean, I think this looks potentially realistic of what I might look like when I'm 60 years old. I think Flux 2 did a way worse job. At least it makes it look a lot older and kind of less like me. I mean, the Outback Steakhouse in the background, like, keep in mind, like, these models could not do text like this just a couple of months ago. Um, the shirt, you know, looks the same. But ultimately, I look a lot more realistic in Nano Banana Pro, so I have to give that the win over here. And then here, another really quick example, you have me with a New York Skyline background. This one, I'm not the biggest fan of um, kind of like my face and stuff and like the aesthetics of the background, but it's okay. This one looks pretty epic, the sunlight right on me, maybe a little bit too much of that effect, but I think this one looks a bit more realistic and like the source image, so I give it to Flux too. And then lastly, just some tests with celebrities and the end result is Flux 2 can't do celebrities, but Nano Banana did a really good job using kind of like my avatar with Elon Musk in Palo Alto. Like the very specific things, like if you say a specific location or a specific person, Nano Banana will absolutely do a great job. Here's one supposed to be with Sam Altman, looks extremely realistic. And then the Flux 2, just like this is supposed to be Elon, it just can't do celebrities, unfortunately. And the Tesla looks pretty good here. You can see this part is kind of a give that's AI because it's kind of just all scrambled up. And then this one, yet again, it can't do celebrities and it did kind of a glitch with the selfie thing, but that's pretty common. And another one that I just think is pretty cool is the Nano Banana um, party scene with me and Elon. And you can see Zuckerberg here in the background. It just does a really good job at stuff like this. And um, I'm not even going to show you the Flux 2 because it can't do the actual celebrities right. This is supposed to be the Bill Gates one with the Zuckerberg over here. Um, you know, Nano Banana just crushes when it comes to actual celebrities and very specific elements. So you can't do that, unfortunately, on Flux 2. But I think Flux 2 definitely makes up for it. I'm definitely going to be using Flux 2 when it comes to creating images of myself in, di in different scenes because it does a really good job at that. And lastly, just moving back to our Valentine's Day product, we have the Rose Bear here with the two models. Here we have an example of an output of Nano Banana Pro. Looks really good. And then here's Flux 2. In this example, I mean, I think it looks like pretty realistic to the person. The Rose Bear happens to be a little bit small in this one. So I think Nano Banana kind of won that. Then we have this other model here. This is the Nano Banana one. It looks pretty good. And then we go into Flux 2, and this one looks just as realistic, maybe a little bit washed out. It actually looks, you know, just as good in my opinion. So this model is definitely no joke, and it generally renders a lot faster than Nano Bonetta Pro at the moment. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Have a great Thanksgiving this week, and make sure to check out the community if you want to become an absolute pro at AI creatives, AI images, AI video, automation. We have all that and more we're adding at a constant basis. Thanks, and I'll see you guys later.